This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fish in the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, labeled a bestseller on Amazon. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'm going to uh, get out there early, do some uh, stripers and rips, and then uh, go look for food. Uh, beautiful morning. Let's see what we can do. Oh, a beautiful sunrise on eastern Long Island. Hey, they just <laughs> they don't make mornings any better than this. I mean, look at that. and Beautiful, flat, calm water. And Yep, I'm going to get out there in no time. Yeah, just circling around on the spot I want to start drifting. Uh, I realized that my um, tracks from my previous two trips were erased. And uh, I've got a, a really good mark here, so uh, I'll be fine. You know, before those things are erased, you're prompted uh, if you want to save them. And apparently I, I missed that prompt, and off they went. How's it going? Fifth drift. I'm alternating between a bucktail and a spoon. Not a hit yet. Not, wow. Not a lot marking either. Okay. Yeah, bouncing a three ounce bucktail off the bottom, and that rod is the uh, spin version of the Dark Matter Skinner Jig and Bounce rod. And I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah, definitely a small striper for this uh, area, but uh, it's going to get a lot better. Hey, it, it's a start. Yeah, so this place is going to have quite a tidal rip. Uh, this current actually right now is moving three and a half miles an hour. And uh, you see those boats up ahead. They're basically uh, near the top of the drift. And, you know, you just drift back. You go up around everybody and you start and do it again. And you've got your spots and your tracks and all that kind of stuff. And... Um, yeah, and the bottom is going to, you know, I start in like almost 100 feet of water. It comes up to like 40 in one point. And uh, yeah, it's uh, boat waves are always something to contend with. But um, yeah, I'm liking this boat, this uh, Grumman 5 meter boat, 1986. Yeah, and there's the bucktail. It's actually the, the fluke bucktail, the SNS Skinner fluke bucktail, the swing hook. Um, and with a strip of, let me see what that is. It's. Um, the fat cow jig strip, a five inch split tail. And yep, just get down there, bounce. A little better, but still on the small side for uh, this place. So as soon as you feel that jig hit bottom, uh, you whip that thing right back up. And yep, that's what gets them. So that little craft in the background, that's a Sea Dew Fish Pro. And the last three trips I've made out here, those guys have been out here. And uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise I would be the smallest boat every time. But yeah, those guys beat me on that. If you like using spin gear for fluke jigging, uh, that rod's a beauty for that.
Uh, still not what I'm looking for. That's a jumbo bluefish. Um, yeah, gonna switch to the spoon after this. And you know, I had a couple other small bass I didn't show. And I, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna switch over the spoon, then I'm gonna regret not using the spoon the whole time. You know, I made the first couple drifts with the spoon, had a small, and then um, switched over to the bucktail, stayed with that. Should have stayed with the spoon the whole time. You'll see why. This is that six ounce, nine inch tsunami spoon. Look at that spool. Look at that line going back and forth. How fast that spoon is going to the bottom. If you do this kind of fishing, you understand, you appreciate how fast that spoon is dropping. It's just, it, it's everything. You know, if you can get up to the top of the drift, clunk that bottom, um, you know, you're in great shape for the rest of the drift. And uh, yeah, that, that spoon, it's, uh, once I start using the six ounce, or I, I don't want to use the others. Of course, now availability is getting to be uh, tough, but. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, great spoons. So the reel I'm using is a Maxell Hybrid, and uh, it's got the thumb bar on there, and it's perfect for this because sometimes, you know, you got to drop a little extra line. It's so much easier to do with your thumb. P press the bar, get your thumb under the bar again, push it up. Uh, just right, right now, you know, I just had to drop a little line. There's, you know, some scoping going on, fast current. Um, and, yeah, the Maxell, is, you know, it's a really solid reel to begin with, but that feature makes it perfect for this. All right, getting better. Uh, definitely bigger than any of the roughly half dozen uh, bucktail bass that I had. So, uh, yeah, should have should have stayed with the spoon the whole time. Yeah, a little funky camera angle here because I knew I was jigging off the back of the boat and had to, you know, try to get this angle on there. Um, nope, a couple cranks here and there because I'm coming up that slope and uh, this is a really snaggy bottom. If you feel bottom, yeah, you want to, you know, not drag it or else you could get snagged. Yeah, the, the main line is a 30-pound test, and the uh, the leader about four feet of 80 pound. Yeah, that's more like it. And, uh, hey, they should get bigger in the coming weeks. Yeah, I've got a confession to make about spoons. I swear, every <laughs> every hookup I have surprises me. You know, I, this is maybe the eighth or ninth time I've ever used them. And um, it's not like the confidence I have in a bucktail, the feel that I have for the bucktail. But I'm getting there.
All right, tide is almost dead. It's down to about 1.3 miles an hour from a peak of about 3.8. So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, last drift. And then I'll make about a 10-mile run and go fluke fishing. And all that looking uh, towards the bow that I'm doing is uh, looking at my uh, fish finder and, and the track. Yeah, you got to watch that line carefully on the drop, you know, very clear uh, twitch there. That's what I set the hook on. Certainly bright colored line uh, is a big help with this. Yeah, I forgot to mention you know, I crushed the barbs on there, so uh, he was able to shake that one off. Okay, on to the fluke. All right, about a 20-minute run, and uh, here I am on the fluke grounds, hopefully the fluke grounds, and the typical fluke rig, you know, six-inch gulp grub, tsunami teaser, SNS Skinner, spinning hook bucktail, uh, three ounces, and I'm fishing uh, anywhere from like 30 to 80 feet. And despite like no wind, so you know, good drift conditions with the tide, um, I'm using the trolling motor because I'm trying to run an edge that kind of curves and if I just let the current have its way I'm not going to be able to run it the way I want so I let the trolling motor do it for me. Honestly, a very pleasant surprise that my first fish is a nice keeper fluke and not uh, a sea robin or, you know, even I wouldn't even mind getting a short fluke to start. But, uh, yeah, no, a good one right off the bat, first pass. So that's a, a great sign. Yeah, anything I'm eating, I'm bleeding, and I'm eating these guys. All the bass, they always go back, but, uh, no, I, I love eating those fluke. So this is the same uh, Dark Matter Skinner Jig and Bounce rod that I was using out in the rips for stripers. The difference here is I use the Quantum Accurate spooled with 15 pound braid and out in the rips, uh, the heavier stuff, I use the Maxell Hybrid spooled with 30. But you know, the rod, although originally designed for fluke, is just extremely versatile. Uh, it's also good for blackfish. And you see I'm hitting spot lock this way here. I don't lose any ground on the drift while I deal with this fish. The trolley motor will just anchor me in place. Yeah, the New York size limit is 18 and a half inches. That guy was a little bit short. Yeah, it's too bad because I really want a second one because two makes a good meal for two people.
Yeah, it's not going to be much of a meal at this point, but uh, keep at it. No doubt about that one. Don't need to measure that. So, uh, okay, so there's my meal. Let's keep going, though. Maybe a week. Could be my grand slam. And it is. Oh, that's a beauty. All right, I'm not netting him, so I'm going to touch the leader. Grand slam right there. Beautiful week fish. Yeah, Northeast Grand Slam, striped bass, bluefish, weak fish, fluke, all in the same trip. Oh, what a beautiful day. Yeah, that's a freaking beauty. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash skinner. Don't forget my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.